As part of this topic, I will actually walk you through how to launch and use Spark SQL CLI. CLI stands for Command Line Interface, and you should be able to run any valid Spark SQL query or command in it. If you are using multi-node cluster, you need to understand uh, a concept of gateway node. Uh, once you get the concept of gateway node, you have to connect to the gateway node of the cluster, and from there you should be able to launch Spark SQL CLI and use it to run any valid Spark SQL command. If you are using our labs, we have two versions of Spark SQL. One is 1.6.x and the other one is 2.3.x. If you want to launch Spark SQL for Spark 2.3.x or Spark SQL 2.3.x, you have to use this command called as Spark 2-SQL. If you are using uh, Cloudera-based uh, environments, if they are a bit old environments, Spark SQL is not supported and you will not be able to run this command. So don't be surprised if you are not able to launch Spark SQL in Cloudera-based environments. In this case, I am connecting to the gateway node of the cluster using user ITVersity. Once I am connected to the gateway node of the cluster, I should be able to copy-paste this Spark 2-SQL command to actually launch the Spark SQL CLI. The last option, Spark SQL.Warehouse.Dir, is optional in your environments. If you are using our labs, make sure you add this, otherwise it will not work. This dollar user is a special uh, environment variable that is provided to us in Linux. It will actually resolve into the ITVersity. So you can just copy paste this and you should be able to launch Spark SQL CLI without any challenges. Now Spark SQL CLI is launched. When it comes to Spark SQL, there are other options also. For example, if I create a database, so in this case I am creating a database called as ITVersity underscore retail. At this time, uh, I am connected to the default database. You can run select current database like this and it will tell you which database you are connected to. You are connected to default. If I want to connect to ITVersity Retail, I can use, use ITVersity Retail like this. Now if I run select current database, it will show ITVersity Retail. However, while launching Spark SQL itself, if you want to connect to a specific database, you should be able to explore the additional options that are provided to us. You can just say spark to hyphen SQL, hyphen hyphen help, and you should be able to see all the options that are there. You should be comfortable with these things uh, so that uh, you can leverage Spark SQL and uh, quickly uh, access whatever is required and uh, then use it more effectively. In this case, if I want to connect to the database, I can use this hyphen hyphen database and connect to ITVersity Retail and I can take it further. So I can copy paste this one. This time it will be directly connecting to the ITVersity Retail and you should be able to create tables directly in it or run queries against the tables if tables exist in that database. I just want to demonstrate the additional options that are available to you using this hyphen hyphen database. Depending upon your requirement, you should be able to explore the other additional options that are provided here and you can use Spark SQL a lot more effectively. We will see some of these examples at a later point in time, but for now, I just want to get an overview about how to launch and use Spark SQL. And we are connected to ITVS Retail here. We can hit up arrow and we can actually go back to the current database command. And now we are directly connected to ITVS Retail. You can also use Control R, which will facilitate you to search in the commands in the past and then you should be able to run those commands. For example, in this case, let's say I want to search for uh, use command. I can say use, you can see here. If you hit enter, it will run the command directly. If you don't want to run it, if you want to edit, you can hit the side arrows. Now you see the command is uh, placed in under Spark SQL and I should be able to edit this and I should be able to run this. So this is how you should be able to use the CLI to actually quickly navigate through commands and also run any valid Spark SQL commands uh, to learn and practice.